My name is Karen Gudgankar. I lead product marketing for our security and, and Netscaler uh, portfolios here at Citrix. Okay, so a little bit about Citrix. Um, I think many of you may be familiar with the Citrix name. Um, we are the pioneer in application and desktop virtualization. Um, company's almost 30 years old now. Um, and um, we have been deployed in some of the largest enterprises out there uh, in the world today um, with almost tens of thousands of users in there. So we've been very good at what we do and we do it at scale um, and businesses really trust us for, for what we do. Uh, and they like it. They're, they're happy with their virtualization uh, capabilities that we provide to them. Now, um, that continues to be our core product. But at the same time, you know, as applications have moved to the cloud, um, customers are consolidating their data center footprints. Um, you're starting to see virtual desktops move to the cloud um, and more commonly referred to as desktop as a service. Um, so we definitely are, are experiencing that with our customers as well. But uh, that continues to be our core product line. Um, very popular in the manufacturing, healthcare, finance verticals. Um, and when you really look at the technology, um, and when you compare it to zero trust, even back in the day, it sort of a it it it's, it, it um, definitely aligns with some of the zero trust principles out there. Just that isolation that it provides, um, admins being admins being able to uh, provide access to users for only the applications that they're entitled to. So there's a little bit of a alignment there with zero trust, um, even from back in when uh, the the product came to concept. So, um, so there's a security aspect to that. And then come 2005, um, Citrix acquired Netscaler. Uh, back then it was just an application uh, load balancing solution and really, really came to prevalence as the internet started to take, to take off and was really used there to provide good performance to, to, to websites and web properties. Uh, that market evolved uh, to application delivery and security. Um, and, um, you know, really, uh, Netscaler was a, another pioneer in the application load balancing space. Uh, now we see our customers starting to ask for more AppSec capabilities, API security, WAF bot capabilities as well. And so that product has also evolved over time. Um, so that's our application or our Net, Netscaler portfolio. And the last one is some of the new stuff that, was, that we're going to be talking about today, which is our zero trust capabilities, right? Things like uh, zero trust network access, enterprise browser. Um, so we'll get a little bit more into that. And then below those technologies is observability. So Citrix, a little bit unique in, in our value proposition in that we are able to see everything from where the user sits all the way to where the application is hosted in the cloud. So we have this end-to-end -end visibility and a lot of these products are able to provide very good um, data um, on what users are doing, where there may be problems, um, and sort of you know preventing threats and vulnerabilities uh, within their environments. So they, you know, we're very strong on the observability side as well. Um, and then you know, I think when you bring all of these capabilities <laughs> together, we've really just evolved from just a pure play uh, desktop and uh, application virtualization company to really one where we're providing a modern, secure application delivery architecture that's really based on on zero trust principles. So where are we heading as a company, and, and you're, you know what's our strategy? So most recently, we started to bring all these technologies together. Um, you know, like many companies, you're, you're hearing a lot more about platformerization. And um, while we've been strong in each of these areas, it's really time. You know, customers are really saying, "Can you bring all of these technologies together into a single platform um, that we can consume?" And so the concept of Citrix platform is really those technologies that I just talked about. Um, you know, VDI and DAS. Uh, it's about application networking and security. Uh, it's about zero trust network access. And then more you know, of the newer emerging technologies around enterprise browser, another exciting space where uh, customers are starting to look at the browser as a lightweight solution, last mile security built in um, to provide access to, uh, to either, you know, in many cases we see it from customers wanting to onboard contractors with their own devices or BYODs. M&A is a very popular one. You'll hear me keep saying M&A, but really, you know, there's a lot of M&A going on. And, you know, it's like, how do I integrate those guys quickly? Um, and so enterprise browser can offer a very lightweight solution to do that. 
But, you know, underlying, again, you know, everybody wants security in all of these products, right? How do I get security? Make sure that the products that I'm buying for you are hardened, um, that zero you adhere to zero trust principles. Visibility is another one. Um, you know, uh, I need visibility across end to end. I can't have gaps in my visibility, especially when it comes to remote users, right? Um, and then the last one's unified experience, where I think, again, we're very, very much focused on. We're all users today. Um, we don't like to upset our users, um, and we're all creatures of habit. You know, we don't like that end user experience to change um, too often. I know we, we go through that a, a lot. So, um, so that unified experience is, you know, our, one of our guiding principles there. So, when you look at really our value proposition, what we're really trying to do is provide a single platform that will support all users within uh, the enterprise um, on any type of device that they want to use. Um, and for all of those applications that we're using today, right? Um, and, and really those applications can be deployed on any type of infrastructure. So that's really our, our North Star and, and kind of where we're heading. So what sort of, you know, what's the problem we're trying to solve? Um, and if, I, if we come back to, you know, what are our customer challenges? We spend a lot of time with customers. We, we're really building and trying to build and focus on what they want. Um, um, and, and that's uh, really a key focus for us. And so what our customers are saying, and, and really would like to hear from you guys on this, is really what our customers are saying. They, they want zero trust. They like the idea of zero trust. It seems natural. Um, you know, in many cases, they've got users that are, are, that are on VPN today. And, um, and while they might be happy with VPN, um, they feel like they need to get to zero trust. But there's obviously, a, a, you know, you have to cross a chasm to get there. Um, and so what we're hearing from our customers as to why they want to adopt zero trust is too many applications, right? So, and we deal with a lot of very large enterprises. So it, it's sort of amplified with our customer base um, where they've got too many applications, too many SaaS applications, too many web-based applications, um, too many TCP-based applications or legacy applications, right? Everything's moving to cloud, but hey, hold on a second. I've got these apps with us sitting in my data center and I can't, you know, I can't modernize them, they're not cloud ready. How are you gonna provide zero trust access for those applications as well? So too many apps is the first one. Second one, diversity of users and devices. Um, I hit on this earlier on. I've got not just employees, I've got partners, I've got contractors. Um, I'm, outs I'm, out I'm out outsourcing uh, to, uh, to, to third parties. And in many cases, some of those are, are they're on BYOD devices, right? Um, or we ourselves at Citrix, we're going a BYOD route actually ourselves. Um, and so we hear the B BYOD use case, but then it's like, hey, I don't want to download an agent. You know, I want an agentless solution. We can't do anything. I don't have custom you know, images. So just the diversity of users and devices. And I think just the last one, inconsistent security policies, I think is just a result of trying to troubleshoot or solve security threats and vulnerabilities with point solutions, and it's now it's coming to a head where I've just got too many solutions. Uh, my security teams are not able to keep up with what the business needs. How can I um, reduce my exposure and, and have a more consistent security policy across, uh, uh, across my environment? So basically, our customers are coming to us and say, listen, you know, I've got VDI users which are happy, it's working. You know, I don't want to mess with those guys. Um, you know, they're still productive and they can do what they need to do, right? I've got VPN users. I was able to scale those VPN users up during the pandemic and it was fine, right? Um, but I now still have users which I, you know, either we're getting users from an M&A or they're outsourced users and um, I want to bring them on board. But ultimately, how can I get to a sort of a zero trust solution um, uh, with the minimum disruption to my environment. And, and so that's really what we're, what I'm hearing from, from our customers. Okay. Um, and then the last one is sort of what's our approach, right? What's our approach to zero trust? So based on the feedback that we've heard and, and what our customers are telling us, they're saying, you know, I want some easy, make this easy to deploy for me. Um, you know, I, and make sure that you support all of the use cases that I have, right? Um, can you support managed and unmanaged devices? Uh, agent, agentless, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, can you make it easy to switch from VPN to ZTNA um, without having to download more and more multiple clients uh, on, my, on my end device, on the end devices? And do you have deployment flexibility? Um, you know, in some cases I can't go to the cloud, 
Um, I, I, you know, I'm an on-prem environment, we're regulated. Um, can you offer me a solution that also covers not just my cloud-based uh, applications, but also my on-prem-based uh, applications? Then what they're also asking for, can we simplify management, right? I mean, this is a pain point across the industry. Um, in general, I'm not going to lie, there's obviously every vendor has a lot of different management uh, uh, solutions, but ultimately, can you make it easy for me to uh, you know, manage control and access for my users? Um, in some cases, customers are like, well, I'm already using Citrix. Um, you're already approved vendor. For me to bring in another security solution can be, you know, goes through extra friction within the organization. So they like the idea of having a, uh, using an existing vendor to, to deploy their ZTNA solution. And then end-to-end -end observability, can you give me that visibility? In this one, we're not necessarily trying to be an observability company, but we are trying to provide the data back to uh, uh, tools that they may be using. Splunk is obviously a big popular one that we care about. Uh, so can I get the data out of your products and bring it into some of the dashboards that you're already using today? Um, and then the seamless protection is, you know, Again, coming back to the, the m and use case we hear a lot, you know, we're on one identity provider, the company I'm acquiring is on another one. How can you make it easy for me to integrate uh, those identity, identity providers? And then we have customers even with multiple, you know, three or four identity providers. So can you help me broker those connections? And we can. Um, more granular control, I think everybody also always wants more granular control. So I think that's a, that's a given. And then, uh, can you give me a browser? Can you give me a browser with some built-in security controls as well uh, for those lightweight use cases? So that's really what our approach is, and ultimately what it's leading us down to is providing you know, that single zero trust architecture, um, which if it's done right, we believe will reduce those barriers to adoption for our customers and help them to get there. Because we hear a lot about, hey, I want to go to ZTNA, don't know how to get started, or I got started and then stopped. Um, and partly it's just because of the issue with you know, once you have access, VPN is a great example. Once you have access to a lot of applications on the network, oh, sorry, once you have unlimited access and you cut that access off and you don't know what people were using, you're the people that are going to get those calls. And that's, that's where the, uh, that's the, that's what's slowing people down in their, their, their ZTNA de deployments. So that's my last slide. I'm going to hand it off to Shivam um, to, to dive into the architecture. But, but before I do, any, any questions?